Pisces, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of February 28th through March 6th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have number 23. It's all tied up. I was shuffling and this card tried to flip out several times. So clearly this card was meant to come out for your energy of the week, Pisces. So all tied up means you're stuck. You're doing something and you're just feeling majorly stuck like everything's against you you're not able to move forward every time you try you just get pushed back um, it could mean that you're waiting for something like you're waiting for some sort of contract to be signed you're waiting for uh, something to come through and it's just not happening so it could be you're stuck and you're waiting on something this week Pisces all right let's see what challenges or obstacles you might face this week You have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is a maternal energy. Um, it's about a loving maternal person, a very compassionate, kind, generous, um, that kind of person. Um, so it could be that you're having trouble showing this type of energy, or this is a person that's in your life that could be um, causing you some sort of challenge or obstacle this week. But a lesson you've already learned, Pisces, you have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is about defending yourself or protecting yourself. Um, it's about having to like plead your case to others, that kind of thing. It could also mean competition, like um, you're feeling competitive, something like that. But I feel like it's about defending yourself with this person. Um, if this person is causing you issues this week, Pisces, you know how to protect yourself. You've probably had to do this before since it's in your lessons already learned. And then the outcome, wow, the Ten of Cups. So clearly there's some happiness, some joy. Um, if this is like a family situation, because the Queen of Cups is a maternal person, um, if it's someone in your life that's, um, when it's a challenge or obstacle, doesn't necessarily mean that this person is causing you issues. It could be that there's a situation with this person and like you could be having to defend this person, something like that. And then of course the outcome would be the family home, um, the happy home, happy life. Uh, Ten of Cups. We are going to clarify Pisces. And this could also be you. Like you could be the mother, um, motherly person. Um, and maybe you're facing some sort of like parental challenge or obstacle. Uh, Pisces where you're feeling like you're having to defend your stance. That kind of thing. Alright, let's see what we get for the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles again, or I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles, and then you have Ten of Cups. Um, your Ten of Cups is your happy home, um, happy family, something like that. I, I feel like I'm getting like that happy wife, happy life thing. You ever heard that? Something like that. But the Ten of Pentacles is where you have everything. You're content with everything. Um, it's about celebrating being abundant in all things. Um, so this could have something to do um, with feeling a lack in something. Um, so if this is you and you're this motherly um, energy, you could be feeling a lack in your um, the way you can like provide for your family, something like that. The way you love your family, um, comfort them, something like that. And then for the Seven of Wands, you have the Page of Wands. Okay, so the Page of Wands is like when you go off on some spiritual journey. Um, so it could be that you could be going on a journey. Um, you could be needing to leave um, to if it's like a work situation where you're having to go for work or you're having to go for some sort of spiritual um, situation. But it's in your lessons already learned. So this tells me that this has already happened. And this is what's going to help you with this challenge or obstacle. The Ten of Cups, Pisces, you have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is someone who is um, very, well, it's a fire sign. Wands are your Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but I'm feeling like very controlling, um, very courageous, strong, brave, um, something like that. But I'm feeling like it's got something to do um, with maybe like telling someone what to do. Something like that is what I'm picking up. All right, Pisces, so clearly some sort of family situation um, this week, but you do come out, it looks like, in control on top of the situation um, with happy home, happy family. 
if this is you, Pisces, it's having some sort of challenge or obstacle with your family or maybe being able to provide for your family. Um, I feel like you already know um, that there is some sort of spiritual um, challenge, some sort of spiritual. It has something to do with being spiritual. Um, it could be something maybe like um, um, if it could be like something spiritual protecting you, something like that. So that could be the message too. And it's in your lessons already learned. So that means this person, or um, if it's like someone who's past who's protecting you, um, this person has already passed and has protected you before. Um, and that could be what it's saying. All right, Pisces, let's see. Guidance, we're going to do Queen of the Moon Oracle. And we'll pull two of them, one for the beginning of the week, one for the end of the week. You have change. So clearly there is some change happening. Um, a lot of times we resist change because we're comfortable in the way things already are. Um, even if we know that it's not leading anywhere or we're not going to get any forward movement, we're going to be stuck. Um, we, we don't want to change. We don't want to move. If you've been doing something for a really long time um, and you're realizing now that it's not working, something like that, I feel like the change is coming and you're, you could be trying to, um, like you can see on the picture, she's pushing with her feet. Sometimes I feel like when the change is wanted, then this person is just going to like backflip off of this moon and, and catapult into her change. But sometimes I feel like she's holding it back, like, like she's not wanting the change. And then you have acceptance. So clearly there is some change happening um, where you're going to have to um, understand the purpose of it. You're going to have to understand why it happened um, and the, the reason that it had to happen a certain way. And I do feel like it has something to do um, with your family situation. So if you're a mom or if you have kids or this could be about your mom, your parental, um, motherly person. It doesn't have to be a mom. It could be a mom, a grandma, just a dear uh, friend who's watched over you, took care of you, um, that kind of thing. All right, so we're going to end it, Pisces, with a Moonology Oracle, and this guidance card will help with your emotions, your thoughts and emotions. Um, I don't see it being a very emotional week. Um, i just feeling um, almost numb, like almost like just no movement, stuck, um, and not really feeling a lot of emotion. Not sure what to feel is what I'm getting. Alright Pisces, you have the South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. So the South Node is all about past things. Things that have already happened. Um, the North Node is where you're headed. Your purpose. So I feel like... Um, there could be something that's holding you back. It's it's affecting something to do with like this motherly person here. Um, it could be, like I said, this could be you or it could be someone in your environment, something like that. Um, but there is going to be some change this week, clearly. Um, I feel like you're going to find some sort of acceptance and understand that things had to happen a certain way so that you can get to where it is that you're going. All right, Pisces, I feel like that is your guidance for the week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, Please like and subscribe.